What's up, everybody? Uh, it's your boy Uchi and um, back again. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? What's going on, guys? Your boy Uchi, as always. We are here for yet another discussion and hype video because I wanted to talk about um, Battle of the Grid. But before we talk about Battle of the Grid, I want to talk about Shatter Grid. Now, I feel like Battle of the Grid has a lot to owe Shatter Grid because it seems like they're taking a lot of inspiration. From the events that happen in Shatter Grid. Now, if you don't know what Shatter Grid is, Shatter Grid is the events that happen within the comic book line of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So it starts off with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but then it goes into its big arc. It builds into this big arc known as the Shattered Grid. Well, right now, the Shattered Grid recently ended um, this past fall in 2018, and now they are currently in Beyond the Grid. Now, if you look at the roster, uh, at some of the characters that are in Beyond the Grid, we see characters like Ranger Slayer, we see characters like Magnum Defender, which two of them are in Battle of the Grid. Now, before I go into how I feel like this has a lot of um, direct emphasis and inspiration into Battle of the Grid, I do want to get my quick review out there for those that have not read the comics. If you have not read the comics. This is me telling you, you need to read the comics. The comics are literally, like, probably some of the best storytelling art I have ever seen in any form of entertainment media adaptations to anything that I like. As far as anime, video games, and, you know, other things go. For those that don't know, I'm a big fan of Tokusatsu, so there's a bunch of things that I do have my feet and hands in. As far as this, being a huge Power Ranger fan, looking forward to Battle of the Grid, I wanted to finally catch up because I feel like a lot of the source material inspiration from Battle of the Grid is directly taken from Shatter Grid and the material from the comic books. So as far as this is concerned, I have to say and confirm to you guys that yes, it is worth the time, the money, it is worth all of the effort just going into reading these comics made by Boom Studios, so shout outs to all of those behind the Power Ranger comics over at Boom Studios. You guys have been doing a phenomenal, more phenomenal friggin' job, and I am, as a, as a fan, I am proud to see that there is faith and there is hope at something that will lead the Power Ranger franchise into a bright, bright future, because I know that that is a discussion um, and the topic that a lot of people are kind of touchy on and not too many um, people have that much faith in Power Rangers being like something that will be super lucrative and can't really expand outside of you know toys and just being for kids and for kids only. Being a kid back in the day and I grew up with Power Rangers and here I am in the age that I'm at right now I have to tell you that Power Rangers has definitely aged very interestingly but looking at the comic books this is another alternative for those that are like myself and are looking for a more, I wouldn't say adult themed story, but more of a mature theme. This is something that if they wrote this story for the TV show, the TV show would probably be carried throughout the years to come because this storytelling is literally what they should be adapting into the live action television series. But better yet, an idea that I had and I threw out there on my own Twitter was that I would love to see an Into the Spider-Verse style Power Ranger adaptation because I can understand if they can't get all the original actors to reprise their roles as whatever ranger they're trying to you know, cast for, but I think that it would be a lot easier to pull these same actors to reprise their roles and provide the voice that we have already been used to hearing, especially considering that a lot of the source material, they have to dig into the nostalgia. They have to. And now what I really appreciate about Shatter Grid is that Shatter Grid um, and, the, and the events leading into Shatter Grid basically surround around the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And of course, they have to start us off with this nostalgia, but the nostalgia is done in such a way that it's just like, wow, like they take things at such different angles and different outlooks that you would never think that they would even do this and that the, the, the possibility 
of what happens in these comics were actually a thing. And it really opens up the world of Power Rangers. You know, Power Rangers has its own multiverse. And much like, you know, other popular series like, you know, Dragon Ball, I mean, come on now, like Power Rangers really, through this comic, has shown me that the potential is really out there. So as long as it's in the right hands, which it is in this comic series, I definitely highly think that the potential of them ever doing something like that, if they really want to take this story, the story is literally from the comics and adapt it into some type of movie form or even another like television series or a movie series similar to the Into the Spider-Verse, like aside from the TV series that's out now, I think that that alone would, make, would bring Power Rangers to the next level that we as fans have been waiting to see. So, my overall review of Shatter Grid, you need to get it, you need to get into it, you need to read it, you need to invest the time, and you need to just fully immerse yourself into the story because I can literally go on and on about it. Which I'm going to segue now into how it relates to Battle for the Grid. So Battle for the Grid, again, is the game that I've been waiting for my whole life, like I've been saying. I'm super hyped for it. I really cannot wait for this game to come out. I can't wait to play it, can't wait to stream it, dissect it and host a bunch of tournaments for it online and offline. This is where I gotta plug in the Discord. Now the Discord itself has actually blown up and I have to you know, give a, a, a shout out to Enway Games and Battle for the Grid, the staff behind the game because they're actually the ones that retweeted and liked the initial server link that we dropped in their, in their stream a few weeks ago when they were showing off the game. So I have to give a big thanks to you guys out there for doing that and I really appreciate it because obviously looking at their twitter a lot of people have their eyes on that twitter account and of course since they're the ones that retweeted it for us we literally got like over a hundred active members within that night and it was crazy like over overnight like i woke up i checked the the, the discord member list and we we're over at 100 now we're almost at three so i really think that if you guys want a healthy community and a healthy place to talk about Battle for the Grid and beyond, then this is a really good place for you guys to go to. And I think that you guys, if you're a fan of Power Rangers, fan of Super Sentai, Tokusatsu, the comic books, anything Power Rangers, this is a super awesome hub for you. And it's not even just for Battle... I mean, at this point, I feel like it's not even just for Battle for the Grid. But of course, we're all in there for this game. But I'm just letting y'all know that there are channels in there that if you wanted to talk about the comics a little bit, you wanted to talk about other topics that relate to Battle for the Grid. Because again, the source material, I, I have to say, is it got to be taken from the comic book uh, material. So if you want to know or if you want to maybe see who we could potentially see become playable later on in the future, I definitely recommend you picking up the comics because I'm telling y'all right now, along with who I've already predicted, which I will say a lot of my predictions have been correct, I will also add on to this that I can see a few other characters that are from the comics that will make their way into the story. Now, without spoiling it for you, because I hope that with all of this hype talk and discussion that I have already given you guys, I hope that that is just enough for y'all to get um, interested and to go check out um, the Shattered Grid comics and you know the Beyond the Grid everything Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comics by Boom Studios is high quality really good stuff check it out if you want to see who we could potentially see in Battle for the Grid so so far like I said Ranger Slayer, Magnet Defender um, are a few and of course Goldar and Lord Draken I mean come on Lord Draken is like the first big bad of the series entirely we got the red mighty morphin power ranger of course so yeah definitely check it out let me know how y'all thought about it in the comments below all that good stuff you already know what it is and especially if you're coming from this video and you plan on joining that discord please let me know in the discord that i sent you there or whatever but I'm super hyped because the game is literally, at the time of this recording, the game is coming out tomorrow for the Switch and the Xbox One. A few more days for the PS4 version. And unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for all the Steam players on the PC. That being said, guys, go ahead, pick up the comics, read the comics, love the comics. Make sure you check out Battle for the Grid. We got a lot of fun stuff planned for you guys, especially in that Discord with some offline tournaments, some giveaways. But that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. So look forward to those news in the coming 
times. You know y'all thought about all this in the comments below. As always, like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter and in the Discord. As always, you know how to support the boy. All the links are in the description below. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. May the power protect you. And I'll see y'all next time.